Hey, hey, this is Nuno Betancourt of Extreme, and we're here with Young Guitar today. Uh, I'm walking you through a couple of the guitars that I have, but more importantly, the ones that I use. Um, this, of course, is the 4N. It's the Bizarro twin of the N4. I had to retire the N4 because it, uh, it got stolen-ish a couple of times. It was a couple of attempts. Uh, it was 00001, so people want it, collectors wanted it, so I kind of put it away because it had too much sentimental value for me. Um, I'm not going to tell you where it is either, but it's, it's right there. But this guitar, you'll hear it all over Extreme 6. I've been using it live for probably a decade, if not more, maybe, and uh, it's killing. It's got the tone, it's, it's, it's everything that I want a guitar to be. Uh, most important piece of the feathers hanging here. They, uh, they balance out the, the headstock and the neck. is just enough weight, two feathers only, if you're gonna do the feathers. One, the guitar comes this way. Three, the guitar goes that way. You want two feathers there specifically to make this thing balance. Um, what else, it's got a volume knob. Three-way position, three uh, pickup selector, all messed up in the back, open spring section, uh, and that's it. There's not much to say. I love this neck. Steven's Cutaway, always had it since uh, it was invented and came up, and it's been on all my guitars. Besides that, um, let me see, besides that, besides that, well, it looks like that it's, um, it's, Oh, let me see, the newest edition, latest edition, and I, I did this one, uh, Edward passed, maybe you noticed, maybe you didn't, but I added these three color tapes on it, because from what I gathered on all his guitars that I love, these were the three colors that he used to stripe his guitar with, the white, the yellow, and the black. Um, so uh, that's my little, um, my little badge that I put on there for after Eddie passed away, as, as he was a, a massive influence and a massive hero of mine. And uh, that's it. Floyd Rose, four end sticker. Could you? And by the way, the most important thing I've been saying this for decades. You could be playing this at home because it's wood, and you want to like I don't know, cut some meatballs. Use it as a cutting board. Boom. Flip it down. Cut whatever you want on it, and you go and you cook red meat, whatever it is. I don't mind that. It actually uh, makes the guitar sound better. On to the next guitar. Hey, and I'm back. This is the, uh, the Washburn, the uh, Nuno model, but it's called the Nelly. Uh, as you can see, it's a Telly uh, style guitar. But uh, I actually called Fender and asked uh, if they were cool with me taking their Telly name and throwing my first initial on it and calling the Nelly, and they were absolutely beautiful about it. Said, go for it, no worries, we won't sue your ass. That's basically why I asked. <laughs> uh, but this is the Nelly, I love this guitar. It's my version of, obviously, the N4 version of a, of a Tele, uh, but the, uh, you know, it's got a, a really cool pickup selector, which is, you kind of go around the world instead of, you know, it's got your three, you know, three way, but you can also go left and right uh, and, uh, and come up with some really unique uh, sounds. So I really dig that. Same thing, same boring one volume knob I have, no tone. I played this on the, um, on the album as well. I believe I, I played it on uh, so, uh, on Other Side of the Rainbow, as well as uh, Here's to the Losers. Um, now I think that's the two tracks, the main tracks that I might have used it as, on solos and rhythm. Uh, oh, Small Town Beautiful as well, I apologize. Small Town Beautiful for sure. Um, and that's it. This is the Nelly, the Washburn Nelly. Uh, it's my model. Hope you dig it.
swoosh, and we're back. That was an editing effect that maybe they're using. I don't know. I wanted to make a sound effect for it, but we're back. This is an interesting guitar. Um, the it's the heaviest guitar I own. It's pretty insane, uh, and it's clear. You can see through the body. You can see all the electronics. Uh, when I was on the Generation X tour, I used it. I used it out in the crowd. Uh, of course, Steve Vai said, "No, no, it's kind of boring without some lights on it." So he gave me a little LED strip that I had around here to, to illuminate it into different colors. But it's uh, it's really cool. I love this guitar. I love the way it looks. It reminds me of the drum kits that uh, we grew up with in the '70s. I don't know what they called Vista lights, I think. Uh, and it's Lucite, and uh, you can even see the screw going in. Man, this stuff is so dope. Yeah. It sounds interesting too. It's so heavy and the material sounds interesting. It's a very, um, it's, 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 it's a very, it's not like, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it's a very heavy kind of dark tone, uh, but really, really cool uh, on the top end as well because it's much warmer. But uh, that's it. Everything else about it is straight up like an N4, uh, but it just looks super dope. I love it. I love this guitar. You try to take it from me, I'll come, I'll come after it. That's it. Next. And we're back, and uh, this is the Great White Hope. I just used this in the, uh, you might recognize it in the Banshee video. Um, and it's a matte white finish. I had a, a matte white and a matte black finish for when I was touring with Rihanna. It's got the, uh, the Ferrari springs in the back, the red Ferrari, and gold hardware. But uh, I love this guitar. But uh, yeah, I used it in the Banshee video, and um, it's got a black brother sister with it, uh, and it's just a very cool, warm sounding. I don't like using paint on my guitars that much, but this matte finish, uh, and you know, no no serious kind of lacquer or anything on it, gives it still a nice, brighter tone, but not too bright. So, I really like it. I love it. There's not much more I can say. As you can see, my guitars are pretty boring in the sense that, from one to another, they're the same configuration of pickups. Uh, pickups, you know, selector volume, and that's it. And the Stevens cutaway, it's pretty, pretty consistent. So, um, here's the Great White Hope. Next. And we're back. This is my uh, last and final guitar I'm gonna share with you. Or is it? I might have thought of another one quickly, but this one, this is the newest addition to the family. I was excited about this guitar because believe it or not, this is the first ever N4 sold in stores. The first production model ever made. They had a, a you, know, you know it by, I think there's only 20 made with a serial number that started 901, 902, 920. And this is the first bad boy, and uh, I bought it not too long ago off a dude who was really kind enough to sell it to me, thought that I should have it. Still had the original paper on it that EU Wurlitzer, the store in Boston. It was in Boston, the first one that was sold ever was in Boston, my hometown. So it was kind of really cool. Put the stickers on it to remind me that it is the first one ever, you know, so I have the first one ever sold, so I have the first one ever made custom and I now I have the first one ever sold, so one and two. I'm super excited about it. I need to break it in a bit, but uh, I'm hoping I can take this on the road very soon and and uh, shred this baby and uh, get some blood on it, get some stain on it, get get my uh, my DNA all over it. 
if you know what I mean. Uh, 901, the 901, that's it. All right. This is the acoustic guitar I used on Extreme 6 as well. Used it on uh, Small Time Beautiful. Um, and it's got the crooked frets, the broken frets. No, it's actually uh, the true temperament uh, that these guys do an amazing guitar neck if you're ever interested in getting it sounding perfect like it doesn't have any crazy bizarro traditional tuning problems where before you kind of do this to your frets all the guitars when you play them in different positions they sound out of tune in different positions now it's a sound that we've heard that we've grown, grown up with our, our whole lives but I've always noticed that when I was young I, I noticed it and I used to ask people about it and they just thought I, my Virgo ass was crazy but so these guys I love that they're doing uh doing an electric for me right now but they they measure out exactly where everything is perfectly intonated and tuned throughout the whole neck and this is what it looks like and it's a beautiful thing you hit a chord and there's it's a ring of a type of chord especially on an acoustic you don't hear a d string like that a d chord like that it's perfect and it's really odd it sounds like a sample almost but uh it's fun to play with but small time beautiful hurricane um yeah that's the guitar that I used, uh, and here's the loser as well. Um, I think that's it. I think that's all she wrote, except for, wait a second. N7, I use this bad boy, finally, seven string. I'm not the greatest seven string player in the world, I'm still trying to work out six strings. So when I saw the seventh one, and don't mind this uh, extra string, I kind of went Tom Morello on this and didn't cut my, uh, my strings. But um, yeah, I use this on, let me get this right, let me get this right, I use this on X out, because there's some synth parts that are really low and I wanted to match it. Uh, and. And I use this bad boy on there, but it's basically an N4. It's an N4 with the extra wide uh, Floyd, extra wide pickups, which is really crazy to look at for me because I've been playing an N4. The cutaway, all of it is just bizarre, but I dig it, man. Uh, I'm not, like I said, the seventh string confuses me, but you know what? I'm down to get better with it and learn it, but uh, that's what I use on Extreme 6 for now. and. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this. I know it's not super exciting. I don't have a lot of a lot of great stories to tell, but man, I just play the guitars. I don't uh, I don't make out with them, and uh, I don't take them to dinner. So they're here. They're here to be used. These are the ones I'm using. Hope you enjoyed this, because you can't get this time back, and neither can I. <laughs>